Getting to an hour long yoga class or longer a few times a week is really great if you're trying to lose weight. There are a few very simple things that you can do at home to keep you working on your weight loss goals and can even replace those yoga classes if you have a really busy schedule. So let's get started. So you're going to start in your downward dog, spreading your hands nice and wide here, taking a few breaths to start to open up your body. And just gently place your right foot right between your hands, coming into your low lunge. Sinking your hips, you're going to bring yourself into your high lunge, bringing your shoulders on top of your hips, go ahead and reach your arms up to the ceiling. Again, very simple move, staying here for a few extra breaths really helps to blast all that extra fat here, really building strength too. And just five times, you're going to inhale your front leg all the way straight. And just breathe out and bend it right back down. And again, just inhaling all the way straight. And just breathe that right back down. And again, inhaling all the way straight. And just breathe that right back down. Two more, just like this, nice and steady. Inhaling all the way straight. And breathe that right back down. Make sure to stay with your breath. Last one, inhaling all the way straight. And breathe that right back down at the bottom of your exhale. You're going to open your body to the side, pressing your left arm forward and your right arm back, really moving the airway with your arms. And bring yourself all the way back to your high lunge. Again, as you breathe out, just twisting all the way around. We're going to do this five times again, bringing it all the way back. Again, just twisting all the way around for three. And all the way back. And again, just twisting all the way around all the way back. And last one, just stay with it here, twisting all the way around. This time, just keep the twist going. Bring your fingertips down to the ground, outside of your front foot here, reaching your top arm up to the ceiling. If this is too much of a twist, you can bring your fingertips inside of your front foot. If you want a little more of a twist, you can wrap it into a bind, bringing that top arm around your back, taking a few breaths here, lifting your torso away from your leg. And just gently undo yourself out of there. We're gonna come into your warrior two, so bring your back heel down, pressing your feet firmly into the ground, bringing your shoulders right on top of your hips, just sinking down easy here. And you're gonna wrap your arms to reach your top arm up and back, bring your bottom arm down and up, and you can either grab your hands together or just flex your hands on your back if they don't touch. Taking a couple breaths here. And five times, you're gonna inhale your front leg all the way straight. And breathe out as you bend it right back down. Again, just staying with your breath, inhaling all the way straight. And exhale right back down. Again, inhaling all the way up. And exhale right back down. And inhaling all the way up. Try to get your knee right over that front foot. Exhale right back down. And last one, inhaling all the way straight. And exhaling right back down. Undo the arms, press your arms nice and firmly down. You're gonna lead with your back arm, bring your back arm all the way down your back leg, breathe in your whole right side. And last one, five times, straightening and lowering, go ahead and stretch all the way straight. And breathe out right back down. Every time, try to lift back a little further, all the way straight. And breathe out right back down. And again, all the way straight as you inhale. And breathe out right back down. Two more, last two, try to stick with it, inhaling all the way straight. And exhale right back down. And last one, nice and deep here, inhaling all the way straight, really reaching back and exhaling all the way over to your triangle here, just grabbing a hold of your shin or fingertips on the ground here, opening all the way up. And just going to reach your top arm back behind you, just pulling yourself all the way back up and sinking right back to your warrior two, reaching out through both hands evenly. And just go ahead and bring your fingertips down to the ground on either side of your front foot, coming into your low lunge here. You're just gonna do five lunge jumps. So pressing your fingertips down, lifting up nice and light here five times. Try to keep your breath moving through this, not to hold your breath here. And you're just gonna press down, bring yourself all the way back to your downward dog. A few breaths here. And then you're gonna do that whole thing on the other side. And after you've done that, you're gonna roll yourself all the way out to your plank pose. Nice, strong in the stomach, lifting the backs of your legs up to the ceiling. And you can do this next one with your knees straight or lowered. I'll show you with the knees lowered first here. It's a little bit simpler. You're gonna bend your elbows halfway down and bring yourself all the way up. I'll show you with the knees straight now. So just pick whichever option is most challenging for you, but you can still do with your breath. Again, down. And then use your stomach to press right back up. And then last one all the way down. Use your stomach to bring it all the way up. And then last one all the way down, we're just gonna roll it forward to your upper dog, taking a couple easy breaths here. 
Dropping your shoulders down your back. And then gently bring yourself all the way back to your downward dog, taking a few breaths to even out your body. And then gently bring yourself all the way out of that. So you wanna go through that whole sequence twice more. So right, left, right, and left. You're gonna build lots of heat in your body and burn lots of fat. 